<laughs> but, you know, I do want to talk to you about some things that have been going on in your life that, that sound uh, what, like major events. For example, you got robbed recently. Your home was robbed. It's funny how you would know that. <laughs> but I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> so the guy that broke in, now I say it's a guy. I don't want to be sexist. It could have been a woman. Uh -huh. So this bitch took, <laughs> um, <laughs> took some personal things of mine. <laughs> And uh, you know, I, I I came into my son's bedroom the other night, and he looked uh, he looked really sad. I said, "What's the matter, buddy?" Because I don't know his name. I'm never home. <laughs> he said, "Well, I was just thinking. I'm 10 now, and you're 63. When I'm 20, you're going to be 73. When I'm 30, you're going to be 83." He said, "You're not going to be around for a lot of my life, are you?" <sighs> I said, "I'm going to be around for a long time." He goes, "No, Dad." I'm, I'm, Apparently, he doesn't know my name either. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> it's his dad stuff. He said, I'm serious. There's kids in my class in fifth grade. I said, you're in fifth grade? He goes, yeah. The, the par their parents are like in their 30s, their early 30s. I said, that doesn't mean anything. There's no guarantee. It doesn't mean a thing. Well, you know, who, who says they're not going to die in a fiery car crash tomorrow? You know, or a murder-suicide? You don't know. <laughs> and who says you're going to outlive me? You don't know that. I mean, who's to say a murdering clown's not going to come in your bedroom tonight and smother you <laughs> with a balloon animal? You don't, you don't know that. You could die in a dentist chair. That's happened before. Anyway, I kissed him on the forehead. I said, you get a good night's sleep. We'll talk about this. <laughs> That's the kind of father I am. What about, have you, uh, the ultrasound? Have you had the ultrasound yet? Because that's an incredible experience. Did you do an ultrasound? Uh, I didn't need one, but... You didn't uh, need one. <laughs> no, my wife had an ultrasound, yeah. Yeah, did you yeah. go? I did go, yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, it's exciting. To, to it's very exciting. The, yeah. it's, it's very overwhelming. I mean, here you are. It's, the technician is there. I call her the ultrasoundist. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know what they're called, but she's an ultrasoundist. Yeah. And um, she's got the, uh, my wife's, you know, in, on the uh, bed in the stirrups, yeah. you know, and uh, she's got the hospital gown on, and mm -hmm. the ultrasoundist has a wand that looks something like this. Yeah. And in one hand, she's got that, and the other, she's monitoring, and she, you know, puts it under the gown, mm -hmm. and she's yes. working it around. Yeah. And I'm sitting across the room watching all this, thinking, this is probably the closest I've ever come to a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, <I> got <laughs> No! Oh, you're the worst guy. Good stuff. But I noticed that uh, realtors are a little duplicitous when it comes to trying to sell you a house or get you excited about it. Mm -hmm. Here's what they do. You know, after they're almost finished showing the house, they go, you know, we're not supposed to say this, but um, two blocks down, Julia Roberts lives. But we're not supposed to say anything about that. You know, as if yeah. you'd be happy being in that same right. neighborhood sure. with a yeah. celebrity. They're not really you know supposed to I mean? say that, but they, yeah. they, they yeah. let that stuff stay. <clears> yeah. Sometimes they take it too far, you know. We're not supposed to say this, but... Joe Pesci lives in the room upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> he very rarely comes out. <laughs> the toilets in the uh, public restrooms, a lot of them are automatic flushing now, yes. uh, which I, I don't like because it does not give you a chance to check your work. <laughs> Seriously, right. I mean... How do you know you don't have worms? Okay, right. for God's sake. Right. Or much less post a picture online. Yeah. Yes. How do, you know, <laughs> how do you know you're not sitting on a bowl of blood? Okay, <laughs> for God's sake. What are you doing in this downtime? Are you watching stuff? What are you binge watching? Because that's what I've been doing for most of this downtime is binge watching like crazy. Um, I've been watching, uh, I've binge watched just about every show on television. Um, today, I was actually binge watching our ring doorbell footage <laughs> from the past few months. And uh, I've gotten in, into photography. Oh, that's uh, interesting. How'd yeah. you get into photography? Um, I got a camera. This is actually I've been taking provocative pictures of my wife. Oh. And she likes me doing it as opposed to some creepy photographer because she knows that I'm not trying to sleep with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I love your wife. She's a, she's a very funny woman. She's very, very beautiful. Funny. How did you very, guys very. meet? Um, you want me to be honest? Yeah. All right. I met her, uh, I met her at a costume party, actually. You met Susan yeah. at a costume party? Yeah, about 15 years ago. That's so crazy. Yeah, she came as a slinky. That was her, that was her costume. <laughs> she I was never, a slinky? Yeah, I never saw that before. I thought, this girl is creative. Yeah, you know? yeah. She's I don't a know slinky. if she made That's it so herself cool. or yeah. what. But 
Anyway, I remember the first time I saw her, she was coming down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I, I believe she you. She was. No, I'm serious. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. How have I you been? Know it. I, I've been all right. It's been a tough year. Um, I lost a... <laughs> I lost a good friend. Oh, you did? A while back, yeah. And um, it was just, it just came out of the blue. You know, he went for a physical. And the doctor found uh, a terminal illness, and they oh. gave him three months to live. You know? wow. And it was a shock to all of us. We were devastated. Um, because, like I said, it came out of nowhere. And uh, you know, we threw him a party. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing to do, is to have a party for somebody while they're alive and you know, celebrate their life, which is what we did. We toasted him. We danced with him, even. We told stories about him. And basically, we said goodbye to him. Mm -hmm. you know? And that three months came and went quicker than any of us had expected. And he was still alive. <laughs> he was still alive. Hmm. Three months, four months, five months still alive. Mm -hmm. But now he's embarrassed that he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so, because we threw a really nice party for him, and it cost a lot of money, because we thought the three-month thing, you yeah, know? Yeah, right. He's ashamed that he's still alive. He feels awkward about yeah, it. Yeah, because I did. I put a lot of money into that party. I mean, yeah. I used to love this guy. Yeah. I used to love him. You used to love him. Yeah. Anyway, 14 months later, uh, he died, thankfully. Oh. Thankfully, he died. <laughs> Thankfully, he died. Yeah. He but did die. He did die. <clears throat> but it had nothing to do with the disease. He was actually hit by a car. <laughs> he was hit by what? a car. Yes, I was driving the car. <laughs> and, um... Idiot. Well, no, why do I listen why, to you? Why do people applaud that? It was a death. <laughs> and the doctors gave him four months to live. <laughs> <laughs> I found this beautiful beach uh, on Catalina Island. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like right on the water. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Where is our waiter? Uh... <laughs> I know, I know. Year and a half without a cold, that's amazing. And I attribute it to washing my hands a lot. Okay. But at home, I don't use the public restrooms because I think you get more germs in the public restroom. And plus, I get very frustrated in there with like, the paper towel dispensers. You know, these automatic paper towels. The automatic dispensers. ones? It doesn't give you enough paper towels. You know, you put your hands on there and it gives you like that much. You can't dry your finger on that much. Yeah. And then you try to go back and get more. It's like it recognizes you. You go, no, no, I just gave you a piece of paper. <laughs> what did you do with that piece of paper I just gave you? I did, you think it recognizes you? I think it does. Yeah. I even went outside the bathroom once. I changed my clothes. I came back in. I used a different voice. I said, boy, my hands are wet. No, no, we know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly who you are. You're on the road a lot performing for people across the country. How is life on the road? <sighs> Difficult? That was a loud sip. <laughs> Could you hear that? That was a loud, and I'll say this, it was also ill-timed. We're in the middle of a crucial interview, and you just break loose. You weren't in any hurry about it, and then took a big, loud slurp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's time we'll never have, but look at that. Look, how, look, look at me looking at you, losing time. So, Conan, you out here on vacation? No, I'm hosting a television show yeah. and you're one of the guests. Yeah, you yeah. like it out here? Uh, yeah, I've been living here uh -huh. a long time. Yeah, yeah. you go to school? Uh, no, I have been a talk show host for about 13 years. Yeah, and, uh, you, like, you like school? <laughs> uh, All right, I'm just about finished here. Yeah. I've run into a, run into a little bit of a problem. I should yeah. have started up a little bit higher. <laughs> so um, if you okay. don't mind, okay. let me just start yeah. up again just a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right, I appreciate you helping me out here. Yeah. All right, so, Coney, you out here on vacation? Yeah. Okay, now I'll still, because the nose is the hardest feature to okay. draw. Okay, All right. All right. It's coming along nicely here, Conan. Okay. That's I got great. the nose. Now give me a nice smile now there, Conan. Here we go. Good, nice, relaxed smile. Good. Got it. All, All right. right, now let me get the eyes. The eyes are the hardest feature to get. You have okay. beautiful gray, hazel, blue, green. They're blue. They're, blue. Blue They're eyes. quite clearly blue, eyes. blue, yeah. All right, I'll put the light just a little bit. Okay. There's a little eye. I got a little eye. I can't get the eye. I'm not good with the eyes. I can't get the eyes very well. All right, I'll put the light just over a little bit. There's the, I cannot get the eyes. I'll get them, but do me a favor. Right. Wear the sunglasses. I want to cover up my mistakes. Okay. And then we'll make it a funny picture. Put it on the tip of your nose. We'll make okay. it funny. Like this, like, kind of like that? Oh, not that funny. Get it up there. <laughs> I don't know how to have a lot. Oh, you're the best, Conan. You're really helpful here. Yeah. All right, now let me see. Let me this side. Yeah, yeah one ear, and you got two ears? Yeah. Let me say yes. Yeah. Give him a nice hand, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Be careful. Do not get that on your clothes. It does not come off. 